Buzz the Boss here and welcome back to another FIFA 16 video where today we are going to be looking at what I believe to be one of the best starter squads on FIFA 16. Some of you may be aware I've been fortunate enough to have my hands on the game a little bit early due to the Argos thing that happened last week. Some of you guys may have heard about that but the official release for America I believe it is and Canada and all that kind of shit is in just short of 12 hours. So I thought what a better time to bring you the best starter squad on FIFA 16. Now this one is going to be specified to the Premier League. I don't know why whenever the new FIFA comes out the first squad I build is always a Premier League squad uh, So that is what we are going to be going and building today the best starter Premier League squad on FIFA 16 Simply because there are so many players in the Premier League um, that are so so good and you can get them for so so cheap So that is what we are going to be building so starting off with the goalkeeper This is probably the one position um, in this squad where what I say doesn't really matter you can go and pick up any goalkeeper for this squad. We've gone and picked up Mignolet uh, this time around. He does cost uh, 2,000 coins at the time of recording this video. The whole price of this squad is just over 22,000 coins and that is literally nothing on Ultimate Team at the start of FIFA 16. You can get those coins instantly whether you buy some FIFA points, whether you go into the draft, uh, open a couple of packs from winning the draft, sell the contents you get in those packs, you will be at 22,000 coins in no time. It is ridiculously easy uh, to get coins um, and packs simply because of the draft in this year's FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. So 22,000 coins is nothing. But yeah, Minulay for 2,000 coins, if you want to go and get a cheaper, vote, uh, cheaper goal keeper doesn't really make a difference for the sake of this video I've just gone with mini lay simply because uh, when I started to use the Premier League squad when I first literally logged on to Ultimate Team he was actually the goalkeeper I used and I was actually very very uh, surprised with how well he performed moving on to the center backs then the first one we are going to be looking at is Reed from West Ham 79 rated center back for the price you're paying the pace he has the defensive stats he has the strength he is an absolute bargain you'll be able to pick him up for 2200 coins he actually has 82 strength and 83 heading and considering he's uh, 6 foot 2 for a centre back he is going to be winning a lot of the crosses that have been put into your box by your opposition. The next centre back then to be going up alongside him we are going to be looking at Torre. He's, though seriously, we're actually going to be putting him into this squad. His in-game stats are actually very, very good for a cheap budget centre-back. You'll be able to pick him up for 1,500 coins, 85 aggression, along with 85 strength. He is going to be your absolute rock at the back. One thing I've learned from playing this game for around 20 to 30 games online, you need strong centre-backs. They don't have to be the quickest. Pace, obviously, I know every single year people say pace isn't relevant. I'm not going to say that because I genuinely think it is a little bit relevant this year. Strength is huge. Strength in your centre-backs is going to be huge because when your opposition is trying to break through them, they, they just rob the ball because they're so strong. So yeah, those two centre-backs, good pace, good defensive stats, and uh, Torre, brilliant, brilliant strength stats. Moving on to the right back spot then, uh, we are going to be going with Johnson, 77 rated, obviously he's transferred to Stoke. He will cost you one and a half thousand coins. No particular reason to Johnson really, he's just one of those right backs in the Premier League that is uh, at that price range that we are looking for, for this squad. He isn't terrible, obviously he's not absolutely amazing, no 77 rated right back playing for Stoke that cost 1,500 coins is going to be amazing, but for the job that we're trying to do with this squad, for how he performs, he's definitely going to uh, fulfil the needs that we need for a right back. At the left back of spots then, we are going with the Watford man, Holobas, wherever he is, he is in here somewhere, 84 pace on a left back is very, very good. Again, you're going to be able to pick him up for less than 2,000 coins, which is an absolute bargain. He's quick, and he actually has a very good shot on him. He's got 82 long shots with 88 shot power. So if he manages to pick up the ball on the outside of the box, um, he is going to be doing a, a little bit of work with his long shots. Again, good defensive stats. Good physical, as you can see there, 81 physical, and for the price, just under 2,000 coins, he is a brilliant, uh, cheap left back from the Premier League. Looking into the midfield then, in the centre defensive mid spots, we are going to be going with Wanyama, the exact same as last year. I thought he was an absolute beast on Ultimate Team last year, the same can be said this year. 89 physical, he actually has 92 strength and 83 tackles. That is absolutely insane for a 77 rated Premier League player that costs just over 1,000 coins. 
This is actually my favourite formation this year on FIFA 16. I've tried out a couple and I performed the best with the 4 and 2 and 2, uh, which is exactly the same as FIFA 15. When I run with this formation, I have to have a centre defensive mid player that has great defensive stats. I cannot play if my centre defensive mid player doesn't have good strength, good defensive stats. And when Yama, for the price, he has everything. He literally ticks all the boxes. 66 pace, some people may argue, is a little bit slow, but the physical, his uh, strength and tackling, he is going to be a rock, especially sitting in front of those two centre backs. Moving on to the left hand side then, we are going to be going with Sacco from Crystal Palace. Looking at the card stats, they are absolutely awesome. He has 84 free kicks, so arguably he's going to be your free kick take up for this squad. And with 85 pace and 83 strength, he is going to be bombing it up and down that left hand side with his pace. And with the strength, he's not going to be having any problems uh, in battles with your opposition's right back. And for the price of 1,700 coins, again, just like all the others, he is perfect for this squad. On the right hand side then, we are going to be going with Campbell from Arsenal, 76 rated right midfielder. You'll be able to pick him up for 1,800 coins. Again, very, very quick. He does the job on the right-hand side. He'll be bombing it up and down that right-hand side of the pitch for you. Delivering balls into the box, cutting inside, supplying your cam, supplying your strikers. Um, and yeah, he's kind of like similar to Johnson. Doesn't have any stats to scream or shout about. But for his price, how much of a, uh, a cheap and an absolute beast for the price you're playing for him. He's absolutely incredible. Uh, he is definitely going to be in the starting lineup of this squad. Uh, considering it costs less than 2,000 coins as well. Right, the cam, we are going to be going with Ross Barkley. Last year, I swear to God, he should have been... I don't know how his card rating was so low last year. He's, he, that, he, he just felt like the card rating was a lot, lot higher um, when you played with him online. Again, exactly the same this year. He's only a 79 rated cam, but when you play with him, he feels absolutely incredible. You'll be able to pick him up for 2,500 coins, uh, getting a little bit more expensive as we do get into the attackers here. 2,500 coins. He has 85 dribbling. 85 dribbling for a 79 rated cam is absolutely insane. Two and a half thousand coins. He is going to be doing the job nicely for you. He's going to be supplying the two strikers. Um, and yeah, an absolute beast. 79 rated. Um, and he's very, very cheap. So then, looking at the two strikers, the first one we are going to be looking at on the right hand, left hand side, I beg your pardon, is, if I can find him, he's actually a non rare. I literally cannot see him here. It is uh, Shane Long, and I literally cannot see him. Where is he? There he is, 75 rated Shane Long. Just like last year, he was a non-rare uh, absolute beast. 84 pace, 81 physical, 74 shooting. 74 shooting doesn't feel like 74 shooting. He actually has a beast rating on foothead of 89, um, which just says everything about him. He's an absolute, he doesn't even cost 1,000 coins. He doesn't even cost 1,000 coins, and he'll be banging them in for you in this squad. To complete the squad then, the final player and the second striker of the team, we are going to be going with, so many strikers here, I cannot even find the man I want, we are going to be going with Juf from Stoke, 79 rated striker with 90 pace, 77 shooting and 77 physical, he has 91 jumping and 88 heading, so if you ever manage to bomb it down the right and left hand side with your wingers, cross the ball into the box, if Juf is on the end of it, with that jumping and heading, he is almost guaranteed to win that header. 82 finishing for a 78 rated striker is a very high stat. And uh, just like Shane Long, he has another beast rating on foothead of a 90 beast rating. So that is the best possible, in my opinion, starter squad for FIFA 16. If you're getting your hands on the game uh, later on today, if you're from America or in the next few days, if you are from Europe, if you do like Premier League squads and you want uh, to try and go with a very, very, very strong start starter squad, Squad. You've got the price of the exact price of this squad is actually 22,700 coins. And I can imagine with the fluctuations of the some of the players will go up, some of the players will go down, might even drop below 20,000 coins. But this is an absolutely incredible squad. If you do want to go with it, I promise you you'll be banging in goals. Shane Long and Juf up front will be doing the damage that they need to do, especially with Ross Barkley uh, supporting them uh, behind them in that camp position. But that is all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do leave a like 3,000 likes would be absolutely awesome subscribe if you are new around here and until the next one I'll be speaking to us later take care Go.